So first things first. It's Y to the A to the N to the A. And if you're watching this, comment down, say hey. You ever had a dream that, 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 that? You, you, what you can do, you can do, do, do. What's up, YouTube? Now, today is going to be a story time, as you can see by the title. Now, this is not clickbait. This really happened. And it took me a lot. It took a lot in me to say this story, so please just bear with me. This is a story. I left YouTube for like a really long time and that wasn't a part of my plan. I wanted to vlog and like share my experience of my pregnancy with you guys, but honestly, it was the worst experience of my life. Like, I'm not trying to scare the new mommies, but anything can happen. When I got pregnant, I never thought that this would happen to me, but it did. I found out that I was pregnant, I was really excited. Months go on, I'm fine. One night, I get this horrible pain in, on the top of my stomach. The first time it happened, I burped, it was fine. So they ruled it as gastritis. I got the pain over 15 times. I visited the hospital for the pain for over 15 times. I got diagnosed with the same thing for over 15 times. I was in the hospital like three times a week when I was pregnant. I'm going to be showing you guys some graphic pictures, so beware. I'm gonna tell you what hospitals that I was at. I was in Brookdale. Now, before you say, oh my God, I went to Brookdale, how would you do that? Honestly, they do get a bad rap because they're not bad. Maternity ward or your know, maternity ward is phenomenal. ER, horrible. During my pregnancy, it was not no happy moments. There were some, but they're barely, the, the bad outweighed the good in this, in this situation. So, now I just started to come out with it because I, I need to talk to somebody, but I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to say everything I have to say to myself without any interruptions. I think compared to when I gave birth, I was, I got induced on October 18th. I had my beautiful baby boy at, on October 20th. He was perfect. Um, everything was fine. Everything was fine until it wasn't. Now, after you give birth, they they run this circle wand over you and they see if they left any of the placenta in you. Okay, doctor told me I was good. I was like, yay, I get to come home my baby. It's supposed to be lit. No, it definitely wasn't lit at all. My baby had to stay in the hospital for a week. I went home two, three days later for some fact that I just cried and I was going into postpartum. But basically, he was in the hospital because he had jaundice. His breathing was like, when he breathed, when he breathed, his chest sunk in. I forgot what they called it. But his, check, his chest sunk in and they were afraid. But my baby is perfectly fine. Like, he's amazing. That wasn't even the worst part, him being in the hospital. The worst part was the day that he was coming out the hospital, I was going into the hospital. So, I kid you not, the first month of my baby's life, I didn't even spend it with him. I spent it in the hospital. You know why? Because out a big ass piece of placenta was still in me, was still in my body. Now, leading up to the placenta, I found out I was in bed. When you get when you give birth, you bleed. Regular. I was bleeding too much, too much, too much. So I got like these little clots, this big. It was little, so I was like, eh, that's something. I got up. This is probably the the same night, a couple hours, and. I'm not kidding you. 
I got up and I felt bloop, bloop, bloop. Three big ass blood clots the size of a golf ball. This big, this big came out of me. Three of them. I, like right now, back then I was so sad. But right now I'm so angry because I didn't do something that I should have. And that's on me. But we're going to get into that. There was a big piece of me. Big, big piece of placenta that came out of me. And I just lost it. I lost it. I didn't know what was going on with me. My my boyfriend didn't know what was going on with me. I just would not stop bleeding. We called the ambulance. And, and um... They didn't know what was wrong with me, so I had to stay in the hospital. So we get into the hospital. I'm bleeding, gushing out blood. So much blood. I lost every ounce of blood in my body. I got seven blood transfusions and I almost died. If I didn't call the ambulance when I did, I would have lost my, 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 my life and my baby. He would have grew up without a mother. Like. Like. And then, on top of that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to cry. And on top of that. Being in a hospital. I couldn't even see my baby. Because I was bleeding so much. And I was so weak. To the point where when I got up, my eyes went black. I swear I I died for like three seconds. Like me going through what I went through, all I wanted was my baby. I'm over here bleeding. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? When can I see my baby? They could not stop the bleeding, y'all. They could not stop. They could not stop to the point where they were going to take my uterus out. And I was so scared because I thought I was going to die. I thought I wasn't going to be able to raise my baby. I was so scared. And what hurt me the most is that the doctor who delivered me, she didn't even come see me. Everybody, everybody in the hospital of the maternity ward, they knew me like because i was always there because i was in pain they knew me every single nurse every doctor who took care of me came to see me but the bitch who delivered my baby she didn't even come she didn't say sorry nothing and that's what hurt me the most that I know she heard about it because every person who took care of me in the maternity ward came to my room and they was like are you good do you need anything and they wasn't even allowed to and what got me is like I'm so much nice, nice of a person I didn't even sue her and I should have because I could have lost my life because of you for not being careful they tried about four times to stop the bleeding the first time what they did was they put like a packing inside of me. Now what that is is that they, it's like a piece of cloth that they stuff deep inside of me. Like two times. The bleeding was not stopping to the point they had to give me two more transfusions. Then doctor tried to give me some medicine to stop the bleeding. This happened. Couldn't even, that didn't work. I started breaking out, I started itching. I got a bad reaction from it. So, that didn't work. To the point where I almost had to get incubated because I had trouble breathing. But I could not let that happen. I don't know what in me struck, but the strength in me was like, mm, I could breathe. The last thing I wanted to do was get incubated. At this point, I didn't see my baby for a couple days. And I'm just like, what is going on with me? Like, how can this happen to me? 
is it because I took all that shit during my pregnancy? Like, why did this happen to me? Did I deserve this? Did I deserve that? I already had a horrible pregnancy. Oh, so let me just sparkle some more this disaster in her life. 2019 was horrible. I would never want to go back. I have a blessing of a child and I will do it all over again just so I could meet him and spend time with him for the first time. And I would never get that back ever because a woman was too careless, too damn careless to make sure that her patient, her fucking patient was, was in order. She was too lazy. She was rushing on to the next patient. She couldn't make sure that I was good. She better hold on to see her on the block. She better not hope I would drop everything and beat her ass up. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't put more violence. But once you've been through what I've been through, there's no... Like, I, like right now, I'm so angry because I never thought about it like this until I started talking about it. Because I didn't want to think about it. And the reason why I didn't sue is because I didn't want to relive that again. I was very depressed last year. I couldn't even take care of my baby boy. And the people, I have my mom, I have the best family in the world because my mom, my boyfriend, and my sisters was behind my back and my little brother. I'm just happy to know that I had that support because if I didn't, I don't know. I honestly, I honestly don't know. He tried something else after the medicine to stop the bleeding, didn't work. He packed me. Basically, I had the packing in me the whole time. It's very uncomfortable. It feels like you have a brick stuck in you. It really hurts. You can't move. Your legs are sore. And I was in on anesthesia. Like, it was so annoying. Like, I couldn't even. Like, I was not myself. I was my weight. I looked so skinny. I just, I just look like another person. To the point where I didn't even love myself no more. I didn't love myself. And I was, and I pushed my boyfriend away. We're better now. But I feel like nobody understood. And nobody ever will. The last thing he tried to mean actually worked. But it was more like a, a gel. Like he basically glued me back, glued it back together. Like he put some sticky glue in it stop the bleeding so since then even my periods aren't even as heavy they only last three days and i get a little pain down there but other than that i think i'm i think i'm fine and i'm doing way better than i was before but if i see that on the street i'm squaring up for her like that's it like i'm squaring up for her she really she really is a heartless bitch. Cause there ain't no way my patient went through what she go through. I don't say nothing to her. I don't get a sorry. Uh, like I didn't know. Like I didn't get nothing from that bitch. I had strength in me that I didn't even know I had. So, she good. And I forgive her. I honestly just wanted to share my story with you guys because I have. I'm an open book and. I don't mind everybody knowing everything about me, even if it takes time. And I just wanted to inform you guys that live your lives. Honestly, live them like it's your last day because you never might know what. You never, you never might, you might never know what happens in the future. Oh, let's not even get on started on because I bled so heavy. The doctors don't think I should have another baby. So, we'll see. And that, if I do decide to have another baby, I'm going to be very high risk. So, it's going to be another nine dreadful months. And the best part of it is the blessing I have in my stomach. I'm in a place where I can laugh and I can smile and I don't let my past define me. I grow from it. So the way I'm going to end this video is not because, oh, she just faked it. It's because I'm happy now and I have a beautiful life and I have a beautiful boyfriend. I have a beautiful baby boy and a beautiful family. So I'm going to say this.
thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos thank you bye and stay tuned for more videos okay guys make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for more videos because they're coming out back to back